This is to show you the spectral signature curve of features of theirs from the clipped uh, Hyperion hyperspectral image. For example, the main features like water, the vegetation, and the bare soil. Okay, now open the file that was clipped. So it is a TIFF file. So this is the raster. So now it doesn't uh, understand the file so that it is very important to uh, save it here for example here export save us so this is very important geotiff you have to specify the file name here so I already have this Hyperion SA stacked, save, then this is the coordinate reference system which is correct, so now click, ok, you can change for example the horizontal and vertical resolution, like in centimeter, it is known as, it's known that it has centimeter spatial resolution, Let's keep as it is, original uh, values, and click OK. So it is very important to save it again in order to uh, read it in Erdas, imagine. So we have to wait until it's finished and I hope we will get it here soon. So this is a file, but let's check whether it is. Whether the process is finished or not. After it's finished, we, have, we, will, we will get it here under the list of layers. Now it finished uh, creating a layer stacked Hyperion image. Now we can go to Erdas. So here is the file. So if you try to open, it will uh, ask you to create a pyramid for that. Uh, if not, you have to create a pyramid uh, for the Hyperion TV image. And it will be easier to read it or to visualize it while you zoom in and zoom out. So this is the file. So you can right click on it and uh, no here right click on it and fit the frame. And go to multispectral, then you can change the uh, uh, RGB. So here I choose uh, the band which is close to 200, that means about to shortwave infrared as red. 
Now this is for uh, technical issue of my computer. So here somewhere in this which is red and so you can see <coughs> the hyperspectral image you can zoom in like this. So this is a hyperion image, so this is water body, so this is a plant which grows on the water and this is a bear land and if you zoom out it like this so somewhere it's a vegetation so you can uh, see the profile spectral profile so spectral profile go to help and uh, type profile and enter then you will get this spectral profile So here it is a spectral profile window. Then click this button, crosshair button, and go to the water body and click on it. And you can see the curve here. So this is for water body. This is for water body. So this is a bare land or it's an island in the water body which is this is actually Lake Langano in main Ethiopia Rift so this is an island uh, within the lake so this is actually the top of the tip of Lake Langano it's a very small part of it so now I can create a profile for Berland, you can see profile good, so this is for Berland <coughs> or some <coughs> you can see that, sorry and air vegetation so this is for vegetation so you can see that so profile one you can edit this Edit so first option Y axis so you can Type maximum like 4000, then apply, close, and edit, chart legend, then you can change the color for water, blue, and for bare land, like same for vegetation green apply then close then you can see that so this is a spectral curve for three uh, features of the earth so you can create uh, your own profile spectral profile from hyperspectral image from hyperspectral image so this you cannot see such kind of curve from the multispectral image so this is very helpful to find out uh, the spectral profile of features on the surface of the earth uh, in the chart legend you can change the name as well here this is water body so this is Berland, 
and uh, this is for the fish.